I was offering life, not freedom. Come along peacefully, or I will take you down. A pity. Neutralize the Spectre! Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to Mass Effect. This is Hill, and we are here again on board the Bridge of the Normandy with Commander Sindarius Shepard. And we are about to meet with Helena Blake after killing two rival crime lords. All right, let's go ahead and bring up the galaxy map. All right, we were in orbit around the planet Mavagon, where we killed the last uh, crime lord. And now we need to head to the Horsehead Nebula. Uh-oh, that's also where Novaria is. Let's go, Joker. Okay, Novaria is in the pack system. Oh, Strenus, that's familiar too. But we need to head to Fortuna. Yes. Let's go. Alright, well I don't know exactly what planet Helena will be on, so we'll have to scan them all. Alright, let's survey this. Turian insignia recovered while scanning the planet Maganless, you discovered the remains of a damaged research vessel. Your recon team found no signs of survivors, but they did bring back a Rokam outpost insignia. Okay. Wintania. Right, nothing there. The Room Lawn. Right, we can survey this planet. And we found a valuable deposit of plutonium. Uh-oh. I think this is it. Amaran... Theme? Yep, it wants us to land. Okay, let's go. Oh, let me, I'm sorry, let me read the synopsis of the planet so we know what we're in for. Amaranthine is a chilly rock world with an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Its frozen surface consists largely of light titanium and aluminum oxides with deposits of thorium and other heavy metals located in the deep crust. Amaranthine was named by the human poet Sophia Cabral during her tour of duty aboard the Alliance Survivor Surveyor Ship Coop or Coupe Under the dim light of the Red Dwarf Fortuna, the surface of this world is lit in a rich twilight blue and purples even at midday. Oh, okay. Alright, let's go. Let's get our crew assembled. Or our squad. Uh, we're gonna continue with Caden. Uh, I think I'm gonna take Ashley. Mm, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna. We gotta go with Garrus. I just, I like to have the crew members that have powers, and Ashley is just a soldier, so she can be boring sometimes. Oh, it's dark, too. Wow, look at this. 
All right, there's a some sort of a deposit over here. Wow, is it way up on top of this? Uh, you know what's missing on the Mako? Definitely some headlights. Oh, here it is. Iridium. Moving out. it gives me another chance got it all right we've got the iridium deposit back on the mako folks all right let's bring up our map see where we're headed all right we will go for the debris i guess we'll just take everything in order we've got debris an anomaly and then the outpost planet I'm sure though you would get tired of all this this purple darkness but for the moment you know being new is pretty cool Crashed probe. Ah. Tried to beat it. Oh, come on. All right, we'll just use our Omni Gel. All right, we've got incendiary rounds four and an energized weave five. I'll take both of those. Right, back in the Mako. Map up. And we will head to the anomaly next. Hmm, can we even make it up there? Let's go ahead and save. know how many saves this game allows you but hopefully I'll be able to delete some earlier ones at some point just in case I'm running out of space okay the Mako is really handling this terrain pretty well it may look awkward on screen here but hey this is pretty good can't complain. I mean, you know, there have been instances where people just can't control the, this vehicle at all. But I think we've come up with the, the, the culprit here. It's the terrain. Okay, an ancient debris. Let's recover this. Right, Turian's insignia. You found an intricate beaded necklace marked with the Galatana colony insignia. It appears to be very old. I'm telling you, there's a lot of uh, colonies and insignias and things out here. All right, back in the Mako map. Wow, we're just knocking this stuff out. All right, let's head to this uh, outpost. how easily we can scale this mountain. 
Oh look, there's the outpost right there. See, and the, the awkwardness and trouble that we're having navigating is because of this terrain. Okay, nobody's shooting at us. That's a good sign. Alright, let's do a save. No telling what's going to happen in here. Uh-oh, what the heck? Y'all hear that? Now Garrus is the only one that has the poor armor. Or shields. Hello Whoops. again, Commander Shepard. Well, hello. I owe you a debt of gratitude. With my former partners dead, this syndicate is now mine. I could not have done it without you. Those men deserve to die. Now are we going to have a problem? Not if I can help it, Commander. I hope you can see that I am by far a lesser evil than those men. Under my leadership, this organization will restrict itself to gambling and smuggling illegal technologies. There will be no drugs and no slave-taking for the Batarians. Those days are over. Uh-oh, people. We've got a renegade option here. I'm giving you one chance to live through this. Shut this gang down. I cannot believe you place such a high priority on stopping such petty, victimless crimes. If I disband the gang, I walk away freely. I have not come so far to be arrested. I would die before going to prison. I would most certainly kill before going to prison. Now, do we have a deal? Mm-mm. No, we don't. I was offering life, not freedom. Come along peacefully, or I will take you down. A pity. Neutralize the Spectre! Okay, look out, people. Alright, we got nine, uh... Go, go, go. Renegade go, go, go. points. Can we go through this door, this barrier? Oh, here she comes. Let her come through. No, I can't get through this. My goodness, Garrus went down in one shot. All right. Stay on your guard. Oh, look at this guy. Go, go, go! Got him. sabotage on him. Barrier up. Enemy is everywhere! Alright, look out, Caden. Oh, no, he's got immunity. Let's see if I can throw him, though. Go, go, go! Back, Caden. The only thing I've got left is Singularity. Go, go, go! Oh, 
Oh, here comes another one. Caden, what have you got? I think overload would be the right call. And more. Got him. Is that hell enough? Charging up! Wait, did she is she biotic? Oh, well, nobody can use their powers at this moment. I can try to throw her. Enemy is everywhere! Yeah, she's down. Shock will that work? Okay, we got it. Oh man, a Krogan. Helena. All right, singularity. Enemy is everywhere. All right, he's down. All right, Helena, you might want to surrender. Caden, throw her. Is somebody else out here who was shooting me? Helena! Got her. All right, Helena Blake lies on the floor bleeding from her wounds. She looks to you with a wry, respectful smile and opens her mouth to speak but only blood comes out. A moment later, she's gone. Your work here is done. Okay. We got them all, Shepard. Yeah, Garrus. How was your nap? Really gonna have to work on finding you some better armor. Okay, let's see what's in this hideout. I mean, this is a bunch of criminals. They must have something that we can salvage. Oh, what's this? Upgrade kit. Incendiary and tungsten rounds. Med kit. Okay. Oh, we can't go in here. And it, it's funny how they have all the same warehouses, but they move the crates around or lock the doors to try to give you a feeling that you're somewhere different. But despite the reuse of assets, I, I really thought this was uh, Mass Effect Original was a great game. Is a great game. All right, let's do average decryption here. Let's see if we can get through this. Got it. Okay, a tsunami assault rifle, a thunder assault rifle, and a sniper rifle. N Najanata? Nice. Okay, and we've got a door down here on this side. Alright, got some more Metagel. Exoskeleton and a fusion explosive. Are these 
like gambling machines or something? I think so. They said they were into gambling. Uh-oh, hard decryption. Here we go. Might as well get out the Omni Gel, but we'll try it. <sighs> mm -mm. All right, cryo rounds and a rail extension. They probably could have kept that. Okay, looks like we're done here. The crime lords and Helena Blake have all been eliminated. It's time to get back to the Normandy. Now that that assignment is out of the way, I need to go do some more chatting. I haven't talked to Liara in a while. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, and mm. making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. Has your opinion changed at all? It has. I have mm. been watching uh -oh. you and your crew. It has taught me a lot about your species. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. Why me? There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what you did on Torfin. I cannot even imagine how horrible that must have been, but you did what had to be done. Why are you so interested in me? I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the man you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. Uh-oh. Are you sure you're interested in me? Or is it my visions of the Protheans? I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest. But it has grown beyond that. Uh-oh, Shepard. You intrigue me, Shepard. Wow. But I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Chief Williams. Williams and I are just friends, nothing more. My mistake then. I am not as adept at understanding human relationships as I thought. But what about us, Shepard? Is there a mutual attraction, or was I wrong about that too? Here we go, people. Here we go. <laughs> oh, yes. No, you were right. There is something between us. I knew it, and I knew you felt it too. But does this not seem rather strange? Why do I feel so close to you? We have only known each other a short time. We are from two different species. We have almost nothing in common. This makes no sense. Oh, we do have something in common. We're both powerful biotics. 
Our eyes are both blue because we are so biotic. And he says we have one thing in common. I, I don't want him to crush this. Uh, let me, I'm going to go ahead and say this, though, because I just said that we had one thing in common. Hopefully, Shepard, you're going to echo on what I'm saying. Saren wants both of us dead. That's something. Uh-oh. That is not the most romantic reason, is it? You make it all sound so dangerous. Hmm. She liked that. I'll keep you safe. Uh oh I am not looking for a protector. This is all a bit overwhelming. I am not used to this. You. I need some time. Take all the time you need, Liara. I'll be here. Uh oh. Thank you, Shepard. Let's. Let's just talk about something else for now. I think we've talked about everything. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Okay, we got experience from this. All right, so we got Liara on the ropes there. She needs some time to sort through her romantic feelings. And Shepard probably needs to take a cold shower, but he's going to go and talk to Caden for a moment and then take the shower. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Well, they know about the stonewalling you've had from the Council. And what do they think? They're on your side. They're pissed about the resistance we're getting, especially from our side. I'll have a better handle on all of it when my head stops hurting. Mm-mm. Their health will flare up. Ever thought about going back under the knife? Maybe get an upgrade? No thanks, Commander. One slip and you can't remember your own name. Mm. The L2s spike higher anyway. My abilities would drop with paying free L3s. And it'd be a cold day before I turn myself over to a Kinetic subsidiary. Got a story there, Olenko? You know the records about the biotic training out on Jump Zero? They're all classified. Because the Alliance made mistakes. After first contact, Kinetics was set up to track Element Zero exposures and develop implants for humans. Once we had an embassy on the Citadel, Kinetics could bring in experts instead of taking it slow. The only experts would have to be aliens. Dead on. Turians, actually. That's why Kinetics kept it a secret. They were afraid of what people back home would think asking the Turians for help when we just fought a war with them. The Asari would have been more acceptable than the Turians. Yes, but the company didn't go through the Citadel. It would have made Earth look weak, so they discreetly hired some Turian mercenaries. But... Turians aren't biotic. Is there some reason we couldn't learn it on our own? They didn't know where to start. I mean, hell, it took a couple of years to even link biotics and Ezo. Forget trying to get the kids to move stuff. They had trouble just helping them not break their own limbs. And their choice of teachers didn't help much. I'm sure Kinetics did what they thought was best. It wasn't best for us. They brought in an ex-military Turian named Commander Vernus. A real hard ass. He basically had a free pass to break us if it would turn out a decent biotic. Kind of spiraled from there, Commander. Well, you're a hell of a biotic, though. He must have done something, right? Well, I got to where I am because I took initiative. Good or bad, I own that. Pretty much despite kinetics. Anyway, this is ancient stuff. I walked it off a long time ago. I should get back to my duties, Commander. We're here to make history, not rehash it. All right, let me get a tactical appraisal first. What's your opinion on the last mission? Oh, this is still the Dr. last Tissoni. mission. Seems like a sweet girl. I mean, if you like the bookish sort. Okay, that's we'll it. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Ooh, 52 more experience. All right, well, Shepard is going to go into his quarters. Take a nice uh, sonic shower. Thinking about his conversation with Liara. And we will catch up with him in the next episode. This is Hill, and I'm out.